Hi everyone, this is a short video to uh, show off my new project that I call Blue Shift. Blue Shift is an LED or RGB LED tachometer uh, that receives its communication uh, about engine speed uh, over a Bluetooth connection. So to get that Bluetooth uh, connection from a module that uh, Ford has designed uh, and built and that is called OpenXC. Uh, there's a lot of information about OpenXC on the internet, of course, um, but uh, part of OpenXC is this module here. So this module plugs into your OBD2 port, uh, reads engine parameters, and passes them out over a um, Bluetooth connection. So the advantage being that you don't need to know how to interpret um, OBD2 data uh, for specific ECMs or the like, and um, it um, the intent, um, as I understand it, is to provide an easy way to integrate uh, engine data into your apps or hardware devices, such as BlueShift. So a couple of the um, parameters uh, that you can um, read over this Bluetooth connection are engine speed um, as well as uh, headlamp status. Uh, I mention those because those are the two parameters that uh, Blue Shift um, will be u utilizing. So just to back up a little bit, um, Inside, well, so this this housing um, uh, was well. Um, we specifically built um, a 3D printer um, to print this housing for Blue Shift. Um, it um, you know it's my first time uh, dealing with 3D printers, and I'm pretty pleased with. The results. So in, inside um, these, well, these these parts were designed in um, AutoCAD 2014, um, modeled there. Uh, from there, you export the STL files, which uh, the printer can read, and then they're printed out. So when I was designing these parts, um, I made a little pocket in here. In fact, you can see this is an earlier version of one of the pieces, and um, the electronics were designed to fit in here. Unfortunately, I um, made this a little too small, and subsequently I made it uh, a newer re revision, um, quite a bit larger inside. So inside of here, um, we have a Bluetooth module, of course, uh, so that um, these two can communicate. Um, there's also a Arduino Pro Mini. Um, I think I picked these up on. Uh, Arduino Day from SparkFun. I think they paid around three dollars a piece for them. So these two um, communicate, and then uh, of course there's a LED ring um, that the Arduino controls. Um, they're RGB and um, right around here they're RGB um, and individually addressable, so you can set any color, um, any brightness at any time. Um, so I guess we'll. Um, show off that now. So I've written a um, demo program so that I don't have to have this plugged into um, my car right now to show off some of the features. So if I just plug it in, the first thing you'll notice is um, there's a Bluetooth uh, or a, a throbber um, display so it just goes around and around like you'd see on like a video loading or something. Uh, and that's to indicate that it's waiting for a Bluetooth connection. Of course, it, it'll wait forever today um, because there is no Bluetooth connection. So the demo software just moves on to the next phase, which is simulating um, engine uh, RPM being displayed. So let's take a quick look after I plug this in. So here's the Bluetooth throbber. Right now we're waiting for a Bluetooth connection. 
After that, this is uh, the normal display. We're uh, increasing RPM. You can see down here you have some yellows and then they transition to red. You could make them any color that you want. Up here they're green to say um, that, that, that you're in a, a safe zone. Just keep going through this um, demo here and you can see the waiting for Bluetooth again. Uh, and when we get to the engine RPM you can see that there's also a sticky LED so it stays the the highest RPM is like recorded for a little while uh, sometimes it's called a telltale or a um, I just call it a sticky LED and the purpose there is um, you know maybe uh, you're in the middle of a corner and uh, you can't really look and you want if you just want to like glance back and see uh, what was the peak RPM uh, before I shifted uh, you can so that that sticky LED will remain for either three seconds or uh, once positive rate uh, RPM uh, occurs again so as soon as it starts um, increasing um, I mentioned earlier that um, we can read RPM as well as um, headlamp status and that last portion of the uh, demo software which we'll be getting to in a minute, demonstrates that um, the, the brightness control. So when your headlights go on, it's usually dark out. Um, so you can see here, bright, dim, bright, and dip. Or, well, I guess we didn't do dim again. But um, so your headlights go on, it's probably dark out, so you don't want this uh, blasting your eyeballs at night so it uh, automatically dims. Uh, a lot of newer cars including mine have automatic headlamps so if you go into a tunnel it automatically dims. It's a really neat feature of this product that was um, is really just um, a, a bit of software. You don't have to add any uh, light detecting resistors or photo transistors or anything like that. Um, just using the um, existing data coming from the OpenXC VI, they call this vehicle interface, um, you can implement something like that. So I think that um, demonstrates everything right now. Uh, I'll reflash this with the um, the real the, uh, the runtime code so that um, in the next part of this video uh, we'll see actual engine data uh, and that's much more exciting than uh, watching this on a bench so uh, we'll go take a look at that now